maybe while I'm sitting here, I'll just tell a little story because um, we have some have had over the years some interesting things. No, no. Is our house was built um, in the 1950s, <coughs> and it's um, had quite a few different people, I, I guess you'd say, who've lived in it, and I don't know really anyone who's lived in it that I've been able to talk to or anything, but we think that it might be haunted. Um, I mean, I'm not really sure I believe in that kind of thing, but we've had some really odd things happen that are not explainable. I mean, I, I literally was in the bedroom and I looked up and we had this huge mirror that was um, hung on the wall over the dresser and I could swear it just came up off and fell literally it, and it was on one of those earthquake hooks because we have earthquakes here so we put it on earthquake hooks and it came up off the earthquake hook and hit the, the ground scared the bejeebies out of me I just I, I I saw this with my own eyes so I don't know what the explanation is behind that it's just was so scary. And then we've had episodes where you feel like you're being pushed. You know, um, I was in the, the laundry room one night doing laundry, switching stuff over. And I just started feeling this pressure against me, this pushing, like pushing me out of that room. I don't know. I have no idea what could have done that. I mean, it's just was definitely unexplainable <laughs> and then we have this spot in the hallway so it's like right at the beginning of the hallway where the living room and the hallway kind of meet and our cats will just sit all of them sit and just stare at a spot right there in the hallway and just stare at it and if you walk through it while they're staring at it um the temperature drops and literally the hairs will just raise on your your body i mean it just lifts all the hairs up it is the most bizarre thing bizarre and my husband swears that he can hear voices and i think i might have heard them a couple times and they're in that same area in the hallway like whispering um he, he thinks sometimes that it's calling you know a name or something but it's definitely odd and when my children were little they would say that they would see shadows and I remember um, my youngest came to me and she said mommy there's a monster crying in the bedroom I was like what the heck a monster crying in the bedroom I mean I couldn't imagine what that would be I mean I went and checked outside her window to make sure there was nobody out in the backyard um, we, we checked everything looked around and she's like mommy I can still hear it. it it it's crying it's sad the monster's sad so I was just kind of like okay this is weird I mean and nothing that's happened here has ever been harmful or hurtful it just seems like it's some sad entity or something um I, I don't know I mean I don't know what it is I don't know if it's just you know some phenomenon that's explainable that we haven't found an explanation for yet if it's actually something paranormal um it's just weird stuff that goes on and it's not been as bad lately um especially since the kids moved we haven't had as many incidences but there are times, I mean, I'm normally, I'm okay being here alone. I'm okay, you know, if it's dark. But there are literally some nights where I can just, like, feel a presence. And it's kind of chilling. I mean, I know it's not going to hurt me. I know nothing's going to hurt me in the house. You know, I have a big dog. I have my cats who would probably fight for me, too. But you just get this, you know, feeling you're not alone. That there's somebody else here with you. And that's just, I don't know. There's no way to explain that feeling. It, it is unexplainable. So that's my kind of ghost story of my house. Um, I'm pretty sure there have been other incidences that my kids could recount. But 
I'm pretty sure it's haunted. And, oh, no, Dobby, don't eat. Dobby's trying to eat my jewelry that I'm making. He likes to get into stuff. So, anyways, I do feel better that I have all the animals here because I don't know if I'd actually want to be in the house alone with no animals, with, you know, nothing. And just, you know, have to deal with whatever sounds are going on or whatever's odd by myself. I mean, that would not be a lot of fun. But anyways, um, if you guys have had any experiences, just tell me about them. Leave a comment down below. Um, if you like this video, give me a like. Um, if you have any questions, ask me a question. And I don't know. Do you believe in the paranormal? Do you not believe in the paranormal? Because <laughs> I'm still not really sure if I do. But you guys, take care, have a great day, and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye-bye. <laughs>